Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Lance Meister from Tasty Minstrel Games looking at Andy Van Zant's Balloon Pop, which is a uh, roll and write game. Ooh, roll and write! It's the oh. new wave! No. <laughs> okay, no. All right, so this, is, this won't take a long time. Wait, wait. <laughs> come on, come on. Over here. Come on, come on, come on, Suzanne. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh. We said roll and write, roll and, and write. Suzanne Sheldon popped out from behind a curtain yes, she was like a mystical excited. fairy who heard yeah. roll and write and was just like, you called? Yes, oh, you, oh. oh. I, I, I heard the you aficionado know. of roll and write, uh, right over there. But, but apparently she, she is contractually obligated not to appear on BGG camera. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> is that it? That's right. I call you out. Bye. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, about Balloon, the game. Yes, Balloon Pop was uh, created by our in-house uh, game developer Andy Van Sant. Um, it is an extremely simple game. Uh, the, unlike, all, it is a push your luck dice game. You've probably played games like that before. Mm -hmm. uh, the big thing is this one is you roll your three dice. Um, these dice have three different colors. All the dice are exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about that. They have uh, a, a balloon on them, and they have a uh, they have a, a, a like a color, and they have a symbol. So this one's like a yellow star. Okay. So when you roll them, it's, you know. Three colors, three and three colors, symbols. exactly. So when you roll them and you decide you like those, you can keep those and you can be done. However, if you want to roll again, you can say I want to re-roll this one, but then you have to take another die. Okay. So after you roll those two, now you get these four dice. Now, if you wanted to, you can even take these two, but you have to take the third die, and that's your third and final roll. Whatever you have, then you total it up. So in this case, okay. I'd have I'd have one yellow, I'd have three stars, I'd have three blue, I'd have one red, and I would have one, one moon and one dime. Okay. And, then, and I would I would cross those off, and I would show their and then I'd hand the dice to the next player and they would go. The trick is that you want to get as far up on these little ladders, your balloon fly as high as it possibly can, un but not to hit the red. Because once it hits the red, that means the balloon pops. And then, e ooh, nice. Uh, <laughs> then everybody at the table will total up their points. That's the first break. And then you start up again. And then you play again until somebody else breaks a balloon. And then you total the points for the second break. And then the third break. And then you have a final score. Okay. The thing I really like about this game is that it, unlike a lot of uh, push your luck dice games, like you always end up in that situation where you know somebody like second or third down the line, they're probably going to win on their turn. So the best decision in any any like push your luck game is when do I stop? And so when you have a situation where you know pretty sure somebody's gonna win, you have that thing where it's like, you need to just keep rolling. You know, because it's like, oh, yes. I, gotta, I gotta go for that one in a hundred shot of me getting the perfect dice rolls to be able to pull off the win. But that is- You get more desperate. Yeah, exactly. But in this one, it's like, you have to measure your desperation and kind of just push you can't you can't just slam on the accelerator ever you know and you have to kind of like okay. you know and figure out what's going on so um yeah I, I found it to be like my family loves it my kids love it and I think like if you're looking for a cool little push your luck dice game will we'll fill it okay. fits the bill perfectly all right here we go balloon pop.